Hey, this is Mariam from Crochet Chapel and today we're going to make this diamond motif together. To begin, make a knot and chain 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Then make a single crochet into the second chain from the hook and into every chain all across the row. At the end of the row you should have 5 single crochets. Four and five. Turn your project and make one single crochet into every stitch all across the row. You should have five single crochets at the end. One, two, three. Four and five. Do the same thing for four more rows until you have a square shape. You should have six rows in total. I finished all my six rows now. Turn your project and make two single crochets into the very first stitch. One, and two. Now make one single crochet into each of the next three stitches and make three single crochets into the last single crochet. Now we should work on the sides. One single crochet into this stitch. One single crochet into this. One into this space. And three single crochets into this edge. One, two, and three. One single crochet into each of the next three stitches. And take that short tail along with you to hide. One, two, and three. Three single crochets into the next stitch on the edge. One, two, and, oops, and um, three. And leave this short tail. You'll hide it at the end. Sides again. Make three single crochets into each of the next three stitches. Two. And three right here. And into the last stitch, make one single crochet because we made two single crochets at the beginning of the row and there will be three in total. Now make a slip stitch into the first single crochet. And this is the square we need. Next row, make one double crochet into the same stitch. My first double crochet in every row is a single crochet plus two chains. Now 
Now make 11 chains. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and 11. Now into that second single crochet of those three single crochets on the edge, make one double crochet. Chain 11 and do the same thing on that second single crochet of those three single crochets on the edge. Make a double crochet and repeat this process until you reach the end. At the end of the row, make a slip stitch into the first double crochet. Our first double crochet was a single crochet plus two chains. Make your slip stitch into that second chain. This is how it looks so far. Next row, make a single crochet into the same stitch that we're in. And make 15 single crochets into this chain space. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, and fifteen. Make one single crochet into the next double crochet and 15 single crochets into the next chain space and repeat this process to the end of the row. And at the end of the row, make a slip stitch into the first single crochet. At the end of the row, we'll have something like this. If these double crochets are too loose, make a half double crochet instead. Next row, make one single crochet into each of the next seven single crochets. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Make three single crochets into the next stitch, the eighth one. One, two, and three. Make one single crochet into each of the next seven stitches. Skip the stitch that we made on our double crochet. Make one single crochet into each of the next seven stitches. Make three single crochets into the eighth one, and make one single crochet into each of the next seven, and repeat the process to the end. At the end of the row, do not make a slip stitch and cut your yarn. Pull it out. Thread your needle. Insert it from the back side of that second single crochet, not the first one. Pull it and insert it to the back loop of your last stitch like this and then make a small knot at the back and hide the tail back and forth.
This is the result. If you like this tutorial, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, turn on post notifications, like this video, write your comments down below, and support me. See you next tutorial. Bye! Bye.